Hello friends, welcome back to our channel IT India. In this video, we are going to discuss how to connect to EC2 instance in AWS. I will tell you how to connect from local machine to Amazon EC2 instance and from the AWS console itself. And we will discuss multiple methods to connect to EC2 instance in this video. So let us switch to AWS console itself. So basically we have this instance and we are going to connect this one, AMI demo. Here we can see that this instance has public IP address. So we are going to just copy that. And here we have to open Putty to connect because I am using Windows system. And if you are using Mac OS for that also, I will tell you how you can connect. So here you can just type your public IP and you must have got the SSH key pair, which I have already told you will creating the EC2 instance. Now you have to go to SSH from here and then you have to expand this all. And after that you have to click on this credentials and from here you have to browse. And from browse you can see that this test key pair that we had generated will creating the EC2 instance is available here. So we have to click on it and now we can open. And now we can see we have got the prompt login as. So it is asking for the username and username is as per your AMI. If you are using any uh, like Amazon Linux or Red Hat, then username will be EC2 hyphen user. And in case you are using Ubuntu, then username will be Ubuntu. So it may depend on the AMI name. I will share the list of that as well. So we are connected to our instance now. You can switch to root user. You can do whatever you want like df-h, you can run any command. So we have successfully logged into our instance. But this is just one method of connecting. Now we are going to look at few more. So we have to select the instance from here. Now click on connect button. And as I was telling you about how to connect from macOS. You can just directly copy paste this command to connect from macOS. But before that, make sure to change the permission of your test key pair as 400 because otherwise it will not allow and by default it is 600. So you can use this command chmod 400 and the key pair name to make that permission as per the requirement. And then you can use this example command directly and you will be able to log in. But you have to make sure one point that you are in the directory in which your key pair is already present. Like it is in downloads. Then you have to run the command cd slash downloads or cd downloads, whatever it is. And other method is easy to instance connect. You can just click on easy to instance connect and you will be able to connect to the instance and you can run whatever command you want to run. So here also we have been into the machine now. We can switch to root user, we can run any command, df-h, lsblk, any command that you want, we can run. So this is the second method of connecting to the instance and now session manager. This is the third method, but you are not getting the option to connect to the instance from here. For that, we have to create a role. Let me go to the role first. So here you have to create a role and you have to attach to the instance so that you can connect using session manager. So here you have to click on create role. Here you have to make sure that Trust entity type should be AWS service and common use should be EC2. Then you have to just click on next. Here you have to type role for SSM. And this is the Amazon EC2 role for SSM. You can see here, you have to just select. You don't have to make any change. It is already as per the requirement. Basically every permission that is required is already mentioned there. You have to just click on next. And here you have to just type SSM role. However, this is just a name. You can type whatever you want. And then just click on create role and role will be created. You can see 
that it is being created and now it has been created successfully now you can go to the instance again you can just refresh this and here you have to select the instance now you have to go to the security now you have to go to modify role and you have to attach that ssm role and click on update i am role and that's it now you can give a try to connect to this using session manager and most probably you will not get the option to connect still for that you have to do just one thing you have to just stop and start the instance to make the changes reflected i have stopped the instance and also please let me inform you that reboot will not work as same like stop and start reboot is different thing and stop and start is different thing so in most of the cases stop and start will be suggested however the reboot can work in many scenarios but stop and start is suggested in most of the scenarios as of now it is stopping let us stop it now it is in a stopped state now we have to start the instance so it is being started so we have to wait for the same okay it is running now but the status check are still getting initialized so we have to wait for that as well meanwhile we can also give a try yeah you are getting the option to connect using session manager and you have to just click on connect button and uh, here is one more trick that for connecting it using session manager you must have the ssm agents installed in the machine and as you must already know that i haven't installed it because it is already installed in amazon linux and it is installed in most of the amis but in few amis it will not be there so you have to install there manually so here you can also see that i am able to switch as root user i can run any command sorry my bad df-h uh, mkdir slash test so we are able to create the directory whatever we want we can do lsblk so we are able to successfully connect to this instance so i hope this video will be helpful for you and this was all in this video have a great learning and please do subscribe this channel it india